This episode of Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by the Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes, where everyone hunts and fishes like the pros. Ford Trucks, Sitka Gear, Browning, Outdoor Edge Knives, Alps Outdoors, and Sportsman's Warehouse. Welcome to this edition of Sportsman's News Television. We're in the South Island of New Zealand with Lindsay Frazier and Woodbury Lodge Safaris. This is a hunt we give away each and every year. And we're down here with a couple of winners and a great opportunity. We're gonna hunt red stag, tar, maybe some fallow deer. Stick around, should be an exciting week. Red stag, tell me that's not on your bucket list of hunts. It's always been one of my dreams and passions, and it was truly in 2006, the very first thing we ever filmed as Sportsman's News. But when we started the Pro Membership Sweepstakes, knowing it was a bucket list item, we started buying these trips from Lindsey Frazier, Woodbury Lodge Safaris. We know he runs a great operation, he's been around for a very long time, and you're gonna see in this show everything that Woodbury Lodge Safaris offers, great stag and tar hunting. And best of all, pay attention because we're gonna give this trip away again in 2020 for a hunt in 2021. If you aren't fortunate enough to win and you wanna go with us, make sure you get in touch with us very soon because we're gonna allow a couple of our winners to tag along as well and get your opportunity to kill a big giant red stag and a big bull tar and anything else they have to offer. Stick around, this is gonna be a great show. This is littered with animals. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of animals. You're gonna see a lot of, a lot of heads out there. One's okay. There's one that I could have glimpsed and I haven't found it again. At least the best one. What about that one that's down low? At the moment we're going to hit up around that corner there, boy. We're going we're gonna to push over that corner and there's a couple of bull tars sitting down below. They're nice big bulls and stick with his age, so we're right, man. Try to get into them. Try to get within 300 yards and send him a bill. And for those of you that don't speak New Zealand, I'm here to translate. We're gonna go up around this point, get on, because there's a couple really good bull tar, not ta, tar down below. <laughs> T-A-H-R. <laughs> just peek over and assess this bull, uh, make a good judgment on him, pull the rifle up, and uh, and then we'll get the camera and everybody else into position. But we want to make sure that we have as, as little number of people popping up over to look at him. We'll let him assess first and then we'll, we'll all get into position. It'll be a really good bull to take. Nice and, nice and old, solid bull.
one up, and it's just too narrow. So we're gonna go and uh, and see what we can can find. Looks later. like one of them had a missing horn too. Yeah, two of them had missing horns. Yeah, one on each side. So pretty exciting, though. Yeah, we were just adrenaline going. Yeah, he stood up and he was just kept an eye on them for a while, but it was just too narrow to take. So yeah. we'll go look around, and see what else we can find. Go do some more shopping. Yeah. Yeah. We can shop all day. I don't mind this store. So Todd won this hunt with the Pro Membership Sweepstakes, and one of the unique things about this is you can do anything you want with your hunt. You can do it yourself, or you can give it away, you can sell it. Well, his son was graduating college, and he wanted his son to have this opportunity. He's traditionally a bird hunter, hunting waterfowl and upland game birds, but to be able to travel to New Zealand with his son and experience a big red stag and a bull tar is something that's unlike anything else. And to be able to get that as a graduation present is pretty special. And what we're looking for is height, width to make because that width pushes the length out and then we're going also for length. So if this one here which we're actually looking at at the moment, he's an old enough bull and he's got, st he's got stacked, he's got stacked age rings above his head. But the problem with him is he's just coming straight back and he's stopping right there and he's broomed off these two tips and he's not wrapping back in so he's one we're going to walk on but he's um, He's, it would have been a nice ball if he didn't have those tips broken off, but he's a um, beautiful cape nonetheless, but that's all. Well, when we're traveling to go hunt the tar in the high country, we're traveling through the blocks where the, uh, where the big stag are at. And after hunting hard all morning long and passing on numerous bull tar, coming back down through, we decided to stop and take a look. We could see one of the big stag that we had been looking for and seen earlier in the morning. And sure enough, it didn't take long behind the glass for us to turn up one of them big stag that Sam was willing to put his tag on. Yeah, he's like 380, isn't he? It'd be 390. That one right, the center one. That one with the split double drop. Yeah. It'd be about the same. Yeah, he's pretty cool looking at him from the front. But that one with the triple fork is pretty impressive. Just if you want to shoot him. The, that one on the very, the, the first one I said. Yeah. Yep. If you want to shoot him, let's go get it done. I say, I say I'm going to run him back up to the top of the mountain just because he's, just because he's feeling a little frisky. Yeah. I don't think I don't think our morning hike for tar that weren't even where they were supposed to be tired him out enough. So I think uh, I think we need to bring him back up there. You'd think going someplace where there was never ever been a tar would kind of break him, but no, it didn't. Well, he had a little attitude this morning, and I thought, you know, he just needs to go see some country, whether there's tar there or not. <laughs> it's like candy store. <laughs> we are shopping. Yeah, this is shopping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> breaking away and he's the lead one and they're just moving to the left so just don't push any further because they're going good.
think you went over him. Oh, we're gonna have a nice shot right here. Killed him. Nice shot. Crushed him. Right on the shoulder. Thank you. That's how you day. Thank you, my friend. Well done. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful, Shane. That was well awesome, done, man. Oh, Frazier. You killed him hard. Oh, you made my day. Oh, that's alright. We had to do something, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know where my head was on that first shot. But... No, that's alright. It's, it's just getting comfy. So, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you killed him. You've done a Oh, that job. was beautiful. He was nice and broadside. Nice shot, buddy. Beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Very nice shot. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Well done, Shane. Well done. Thanks, Well done. That was awesome. <sighs> Okay. Big deep breaths now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I could see from over there. I heard the shot. I just told your dad. I said I heard the shot. Yeah, I wouldn't say. And then I'm watching, and I said, I wonder what they're shooting at. That all of a sudden I see one. Ooh, it, it, it waddled and it, fell, it rolled over. He's where is it? It's right up by where David is. Yeah, right? but I, when it when it fell, I it yeah, got into that stuff and I lost it. Awesome. <laughs> what a cool what a cool experience to have a kid kid, a young man, get his first big game animal down here in New Zealand. He and his father spending some time together. He took a beautiful stag. Sun's getting ready to set. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, he's really happy. He's <laughs> really excited. It's just outstanding. I mean, it was, you're never gonna even have anything that comes close to it. Just hanging out and being able to go around and see some of the most amazing country. He just calls me and says, hey, go watch the, the sportsman's uh, video. And I was thinking, okay, we want a backpack or we want, you know, some new socks, which I'm not, I'm not opposed to. Um, and we go on there and it was the, you know, the trophy stag hunt in New Zealand. And uh, at first we were like, well, should we do it? And, what the heck? I mean, we're never going to be able to get to do this again. So it was like, yeah, let's let's do it. And so, so here we are. Every day for a year, we'd be getting more and more excited. Yeah. And then uh, finally the time came, and this is great. What an experience. Yeah, and everything's just been the, the country and just the entire experience, the lodge, the people, the guys. Oh, yeah. The, everybody's the, been just. And you guys are not big game hunters traditionally. No, not, I mean, we both just hunt upland game and waterfowl mainly that's that's really all we do and yeah so, so this was a little intimidating for us but you know the, the guys Frazier everybody's just been doing a great job so how many times we had to go up online and look up what's a red stag or what's a tall yeah <laughs> I no idea but... I've told all my friends it's a New Zealand version of an elk but I don't know that's a pretty, pretty nice looking elk <laughs> yeah, <I was> gonna <laughs> Well, congrats to Sam on making a phenomenal shot on a big red stag. I mean, we had to hustle up the hill and I fell down with the camera, got back up and got on top of the thing just in time for them to get it done. Just absolutely world-class stag and definitely a great shot. Congratulations. And now that we had got that done, we had an opportunity the following morning to follow along with my good buddy Mark from New Jersey. He's one of our pro members and been a pretty good friend for a really long time. He capitalized on the opportunity to go hunt with us as a team here at Sportsman's News and booked his trip with us. So I got to spend the next couple of days with Mark trying to kill a big red stag and a big bull tar. You think good? I got a good one. So this, we're heading up to the top of the top of the mountain where we were uh, two days ago, and the bulls are still tucked right into this nice basin up here. We got a, we got a. It's going to be windy up there. We got some rain coming in, but um, they're in there. They're going to hold tight today. We'll be, Mark will be able to sneak right over, like kind of the same situation that we did the other day. And he should, we should have uh, maybe a 200. 200 to 300 yard shot from right up there. So there's a there's a really nice bowl in there. Yes, Beautiful sir. cave. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Let's what do you think, Marky? I think I can't wait to get up there and get him. That's what I can't. Oh wow. That's really nice.
assess, find our goal, and then we'll come up. Hill. No, it's because it's it's pretty good across. It's not it's not a real steep angle. So you're sighted in for what? A hundred, two hundred. Dead on at two. So we're gonna be five Hold inches. Right on. Five inches. Huh? Are you sure he's right at two or at three? He's right he, at three. Hold right where you want to hit. Yeah. Because you're gonna you're not gonna drop. You got a four and a half drop. It's, yeah. six, it's right at six. Yeah. So I was saying right at the right at the point of the shoulder, but yeah. On right dead on now. Right dead on. So we'll just hold that on. I'd hold right where I want to hit. The expert. Okay. I'd hold right where I want to hit, bro. Okay. okay. To know it's I'm enough going. downhill that it's going to drop off 25 yards. I'll be able to. I'll be able to tell on that. I'll be videoing too. So. On that. Split his body. Split his body right in the center and hit him right in the shoulder. Okay. Crush him. Okay. Right. Mark, you did it, buddy. Yes, I did. <laughs> you did. Congrats, brother. Thank you, sir. Good job. Thank you. Hey, shoot. Golf shot. Couldn't have done it without your help, Mike. A few age rings on there. Stacked and tight. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think, Mark? 350 yards, 15 mile an hour, full value crosswind. Well, if it wasn't for you, I couldn't have done it. <laughs> Just follow directions very precisely. And I don't know if you guys can see that far away, but holy crap. That <laughs> was a poke. This is a beautiful animal. Oh, now you know why we said you need to full body mount them? Unbelievable to see them up close like this. Especially this a after making a shot like that. You may never make a shot that good the rest of your life. I might not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will if I keep paying attention to what you tell me. But I couldn't have done this without you. Dave, I couldn't have done it without you either, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate it. Pleasure being on the mountain with you guys. Well, congratulations, Mark, on making a phenomenal shot on that bull tar. Staying down on the gun, being patient, and putting it right where it needed to go, especially in that strong wind. So proud of you, man. Good shooting. And that still gave us plenty of time to go try and get that big stag that he was looking for. We'd been able to fly this stag 
with a drone and it didn't seem to mind the drone one bit whatsoever but every time we would try to go hunt this stag and we would get even close to where we were going to go into the block and get out of the vehicle this thing would absolutely take off and come uncorked and get out of the country so we were able to finally figure out what he was doing get him outsmarted and put mark in a good position to get this bull that's that's a big that's a big bull he did not like us being down here and he bolted right up the canyon so we're going to go down the road we're going to glass back up there see if he settles down up a little bit higher maybe up by that saddle <clears throat> with this rain this grass gets really slick so it'll be fun i'm like he's going to be right over he's going to be over four that one right there yeah we got the stags that have worked down the valley a little bit and gone up into a cut and I think the best, because of the way the wind is, we're just going to get Mark set up in the position and I'm going to make a loop around and see if I can look up the canyon and if I can I'm going to let them get my wind and hopefully they'll work up and over into a position that you'll be able to get a shot. You know which one you want, he's got those, those whale drop tails tops, that right, drop in the back. Um, so it's he's easy to very, pick out. Dis very distinct. You'll be able to find him. I ain't gonna have to go very far up that hill, and they're gonna be disappear. Is that him? He's the fourth one back. He's got him. Yeah. Well, what do you think, man? I think it's great. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to thank Mike or uh, Pro Membership Sweepstakes is just amazing, and to be able to come to a place like this is once in a lifetime. This is just amazing country. It, it's, it's, you, <laughs> without being here, it's hard to explain. And to see the the amount of animals that are here and the quality. And just the beauty of the whole area is just stellar, stellar. He's just, Look at the length of that. Guy. He's just Look very, long. yeah, very unique. You know, they got my they got my wind downrange, and uh, they were just, you know, it seemed like they were a little curious for a while, and then they realized that that's not what I need to be around. Is they, 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 they took off. And they took off. And it was nice because they had this this escape route, you know, up and out of the canyon. But so they thought. So they thought. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you closed out that uh, that escape route. So if he came mind. across, I could see him. And because where we were down, he needed to come up, and uh, he didn't stop. Yeah. I shot him moving. Yeah. Well, another great trip here at Woodbury Lodge Safaris. We come here every couple of years with the, the Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes. Had a great guide here, Dave. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave. It's been Able to get time. it done. Appreciate we it. killed a great tar. We will give this trip away again, probably every other year, maybe every other year. So if you're not a pro member, make sure you log on, promembershipsweepstakes.com. Hey, we truly enjoyed bringing this to you. We'll see you next time.